Okay, so what you're looking at here is the adjusting arm for the torsion bars. Um, the higher up this lever goes, the more twist you put on the torsion bar, and the higher the car sits. So what we're doing here is really covering lifting it and also re-indexing it. Okay, so you've got this long bolt here. It's got a small nut on it, and then a much larger nut. The small one is a locking nut, so the first thing you need to do is take that locking nut off. Um, make sure the car's jacked up and on stands before you do this. 17 millimeter. It takes ages. <laughs> Quite a fine thread. I'm just using a ratchet spanner. We're working on the difficult side because there's not much room. I'm afraid it does take a long time. I actually took mine off recently, so I greased everything up. Seems to have made it much easier. So locking that off, put it somewhere safe. Start loosening the nut holding the adjusting lever. I'm afraid that one's a little bit tougher because it's got the pressure on it. So we've got to a point where the adjusting bolt is nearly off. On top of it is a little chunk of metal that sits into the adjusting arm. So when you take this bolt, this nut off, don't let it drop on your face. <laughs> okay, so there's the there's the long adjusting bolt. A little bit of metal comes off. And the arm is now free of this bolt. Put that somewhere safe. Right, where the torsion bar meets the adjusting arm is a rubber protector that just that'll just peel off backwards. And the adjusting arm would slide off the torsion bar. This this is quite an important or interesting thing. These torsion bars were put on a couple of weeks ago and the arm was in a position where I could only just get the nut on the bolt but actually quite a lot of it is now dangling below there which would suggest that the bar has bent a bit, twisted a bit. So if you're fitting new torsion bars it might be worth redoing it after a couple of weeks just to make sure they're right. Okay so I'm going to slide this off backwards.
doing that, that adjusting arm won't go back far enough for me to turn it. So I'm going to have to take the torsion bar on the passenger side, which is where we are, out of the front mounting. Which I had to not to have to do. But Okay, so my solution to removing the torsion bar, because it has to be pulled, but actually you can't really get your hands in there to do it, and it does require a fair bit of force. I've got mould grips attached to the torsion bar at that end, and the chains wrapped around them, and I've got one of these. I don't know what it's called, unfortunately, but it, it's got a hook on both ends and, and threaded bar into, the, into this. As you turn this, they get pulled together. So I use the chain with this and the mold grips to apply pressure to the bar. I'm going to try and get it in roughly a straight line, so I need to find something to hook it onto. and the chain off. You should be able to then slide the torsion bar far enough forward that you can move this adjuster on here. the torsion bar out you can feed it forward into the engine bay it's very fiddly and there's just enough room here to feed it out underneath this pipe under the petrol tank. I'm not planning on taking one out though, so I'll just get them back in for now. Re-indexing just means mounting this torsion bar, this adjuster thing, so that it's only just quite a bit fiddly there only just on this bolt so if they need re if your torsion bars need re-indexing you're gonna have undone the adjuster and it'll be sitting about there you want it sitting quite low so roughly about there it's just enough so that you can get this thing and then the bolt on it's not quite enough is it So I've just I've slid, it, I've slid the torsion bar all the way back into the adjuster. I've just sat it on the edge of the mounting point at the front. 
Just trying to work out where to sit it before I do it back up again. But you can see I've got quite a lot of bolt there, a lot more than I need. So I'm going to try and take it out and rotate it one more down. probably as low as I'm going to want to take it because any lower than that I won't get won't get the nut back on but anyway it's lined up right I have a couple of other things I need to do before I start tightening this um, but that's how you do re-indexing you then just pop this back on and start doing the bolt film that later okay <clears throat> if you're planning on lifting the car now's a good time whilst the adjuster's disconnected to cut your bump stop down um, you go down probably about half an inch I've, um, I'll put a picture in the video showing showing it. you can do it with a hacksaw I just did it with the um, with the wheel still on so it is possible but it was a bit tricky and I've got a rubbish hacksaw I'm just going to clean up this um, the adjuster bolt a bit so that stuff goes back on easier. Now, you need to make sure that the torsion bar is properly seated back into the plate, into the front locator there. The easiest way to do that is with a crowbar. Just gonna push the crowbar with the adjuster. And that'll seat torsion bar back in the right place. You'll pretty much be able to tell when it's in because this bolt will hang roughly in the middle of the adjuster.
sure that the top of this is seated properly. There's like a groove on each side which slips in. You need that to be in the right place. this bolt until the adjusting arm is roughly parallel with the floor pan um, and do that on both sides then lower the car down and see where you're at to start with um, a lot of advice says put it on the ground to tighten these there's two reasons why I'm not doing that one it makes it much harder to tighten them because you're fighting the weight of the car um, and the second reason is if, you, if the car's sitting on the wheels when you're tightening this adjuster and you accidentally shear this bolt, which is something I'm prone to doing, the bolt will be catapulted at you <laughs> with the weight of the car, um, which is going to hurt if it hits you. Uh, there, there are pictures on the internet of these bolts going through the floor pans and things like that um, whilst people are tightening them, so I, I don't feel safe doing it when the car's on the floor. I'm going to leave it jacked up. Okay. That's pretty much parallel with the sorry, with the petrol tank actually. So put these rubber grommet things, these rubber sleeves back on. Keep the rubbish out. I'm going to leave the locking nut off, and I'll do the driver side the same before I lower it down. So what I've done is um, re-index both bars, both torsion bars, and I've put the nut on so um, so that the bar, the adjustment arms are roughly parallel to the, the frame. There's probably about an inch and a half of the adjustment bolt sticking down below the nut now. Uh, that's roughly parallel. Now my I'm measuring from the top of the wheel hub to the wheel arch to get my lift. It's currently 50 centimeters. It was 45 when I started, so we're up two inches. Um, I am going to go just a little bit more because my rears are on 52, and I want them to be roughly about the same. So all I need to do is tighten the adjustment nut. A little bit more on both sides until I get the right height that I want. But the reason I'm measuring from the top of the hub to the wheel arch instead of to the floor or from the axle to the floor is because other things affect other distances whereas the hub from the wheel arch is only affected by the torsion bars. Okay, so I've wound it up as far as I want to. The we it's now 52 centimeters between the top of the hub and the wheel arch, um, and that's leaving about five centimeters of the bolt exposed. 
all I need to do now is put the locking nuts back on and that's us done. Thanks for watching.